Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial from myonlineedu.com. So today we'll learn how to configure PHP 7 on WAMP server in localhost. So as you know that PHP 7 is hit in the market and you know you want to develop your applications, web applications using PHP 7. So how you can do that? So basically you know you don't have to uninstall and install again anything uh, from the WAMP WAMP perspective. So here is the block that I have written where you can uh, find the details of the steps that is needed. But in this video, you know, it will be quicker to show you how to do it. So first thing that you need is the Apache 2.4 and higher version for PHP 7 to work and also a WAMP version 2.5. So the one that I already have installed into my machine that has the Apache version 2.4 and above and also the WAMP is 2.5. So I am good to go. But here if you see my PHP that version is currently I am using 5.5.12. Okay, And also if you go to your local host and go to PHP info. So you, you can see the current PHP version that I am using. So that is 5.5.12. But you know, I, I want to upgrade my PHP version to 7.1 or 7 or you know the PHP 7 basically. So PHP 7 is a whole new game altogether. So let's begin with the installation part. So first thing that we need to do is we need to download the PHP version for your Windows either 32 bit or 62 bit from the PHP website. So if you click this link, it will bring you here and you'll see that you know there are multiple uh, php versions are available so 7.2.0 at this moment is just released and then you know we have the php 7.1 and php 7.1.10 rc1 so this is the latest one so depending on your operating system if it is a 32 bit so you need to use the 86 one x86 and if it is a 64 bit so you need to use the 64 bit so in 64 bit there are two types of one is non thread safe and one is thread safe so we will be downloading the thread safe one click on the zip file so and if you save it you know it it will all also download the php 7.1.10 i already have downloaded this thing for you so let's go to let's go over there So here is the file that I already have downloaded, correct? So now, you know, uh, let's extract it here. So this is my PHP. Seven dot one dot ten. Okay, so it has, you know, all the files over here. So after that, what you have to do is you have to click on this link to get the Microsoft Visual C++ that is 2015. Okay. So if you click over here, it will bring you here and then basically you know you have to download the stuff. So it is better to you know download both the 64 bit and as well as 32 bit one and if you click next it will prompt you to save the files so i already have saved it so i am not going to you know download again just so first you know i'll be installing the 32 bit one so this is the microsoft visual c++ 2015 which is needed by the PHP 7. So these redistributable uh, packages are very much needed. Okay, so it has started installing the 32 bit of Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable package. So it has successfully set up. So now I have to install the 64 bit one.
okay so now the 64 bit one is also installing so it has finished the installation of the visual c++ 2015 for 64 bit so now what i'll do you know i'll go to the my wamp installation directory so in basically you go to bin and then php there you find this particular php version over here so i'll create a new folder php my version is 7.1.10 okay and then i'll copy the whole thing from my downloaded php to my wamp the newly created php folder okay and then now you know so that i completed the first step so now you know i'll go to this uh, older version of php 5.5.1.2 and i'll copy the wamp server.conf file so now i am inside the wamp uh, installation path and then i'll be copying this one to the newly php7 folder okay so now the next step is so i, I have completed the step 2 so the step 3 is uh, go to the new folder and then you know locate a php.ini development file so i am inside the new folder so i have to locate the php in the development file fine i'll copy it and i'll paste it here and i'll rename it to php.ini okay so i have copied this file and then i'll open it in notepad and then you know as mentioned over here I have to find out these three things. So first, go to the extend, extension underscore dir. Okay. So here, I need to copy this one and put a extension directory. like this save it and then again i'll search for upload temp directory and then i'll put it here and then also i'll search for error log And here also, I'll put it here. So these three things I have completed. So now, you know, I have, I need to go to this particular extension setup. Where, you know, I'll be telling the PHP to set the extensions. So as you can see, in this file, basically all the extensions are disabled now. Correct? So what I'll do. I'll copy this one and then I'll put it here. So I need to enable a few of them. For an example, you know, the curl one, curl I have to, you know, file info. These are the things, the GD2 library. These are the things I need to enable. And I save this file php.ini. Okay. So now what it is saying that once I did do it, I'm inside the WAMP directory, the PHP 7.1.0, and it's telling me to copy this file and then rename it to php for apache.ini. So this is needed by the WAMP Apache server. Okay. So now you, you know, I need to open this WAMP server conf that I copied from my old directory. And then, you know, I need to check that. So PHP 2 dot, the Apache 2.4, now I have to change it to PHP 7 module. And also 
this one to PHP 7 module. And it should look like this one. So I did the change and then I need to save it. And then I need to, okay, so now, you know, what I have to do is, I have to stop all services from WAMP and I have to exit WAMP. And then I have to restart WAMP again. So WAMP is restarting. And if I go to PHP versions, now I see that there are two PHP versions that are available. So 7.1.0 is the new one that I have installed. So just click on that and then you go to your local host and then you see that PHP version 7.1.0 is already taken care of and now you go to PHP info. So you see the PHP version is the new one. So you are done but certainly not one another step is remaining which is the suggestion is that you have to change your system variable path and you need to include this path the one that you have included correct so let us do that one otherwise you know some uh, curl dll or some issues that you will find out let's go to my computer properties advanced system settings environment variable in the system variable there is a path just want to edit it okay so what i'll do here is put a semicolon and put my path the php new php path remember it is 7.1.10 in my case so i'll click ok 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 and then again let's go for localhost and you go for php info nothing changes but if you use curl now there will be no issues thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please like it and please subscribe to our uh, youtube channel thank you for watching